are they going to be able to get somebody up here? Well, of course, ma'am. We're coming up for you. Well, there's no one here yet, and the floor is completely engulfed. We're on the floor, and we can't breathe. Okay. And it's very, very, very hot. Everybody stay calm. You're doing a good job. Please. Ma'am, listen. Ma'am, listen. Everybody's coming. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what happened, okay? Here. It's very hot everywhere on the floor. Hold on one second, please. I'm going to die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Say I'm going to die. Ma'am, 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 say your prayers. It's you so pray? hot. I'm burning up. There is a huge courtyard between the two worlds. It looks like the whole top of the farm might just collapse. Right then, tourists or business people out in this area are trying to get to the bottom falling at a rate that a piece of paper would not fall. Oh my god! Look like a ticket tape parade quality. Uh, you saw the plane when it hit? Mike! See the pieces falling, Mike? Mike! Get away from the towers! Mike, we're gonna get killed! We are now looking at flames shooting out of the north side. second floor for a nine o'clock meeting and I'm about ten I was about ten minutes late to get there and they're telling me now that planes were going through the 82nd floor area. assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers, a huge explosion.
Marriott had been almost sliced in half by the collapse of the South Tower. With communication systems down, there was nothing they could do to help survivors trapped beneath the rubble in the Marriott Hotel lobby. One of them was receptionist Amy Ting. Uh, many people kept, kept their heads and as soon as they realized something was wrong, began to get out. Heroic uh, New York uh, firemen and policemen and many other uh, work-a-day heroic New Yorkers helped in, in getting people out of the building, leading people out of the building. And uh, so many lives were saved. Some fatalities there, you know not how many, and some wounded, but nothing on the scale of the World Trade Center here. Let's go back to Bob Orr in our Washington Bureau. Bob? Dan, there's one very interesting thing that uh, we have just learned, and it's about the plane that crashed in uh, Pennsylvania. Building 7 ablaze at the moment and apparently getting ready to collapse. I was kind of covered by somebody up above. There's no way. I mean, I was, I'm late for the meeting. Somebody told me to be that way. 